Hi, sweets. Welcome back. Today, I am talking about condoms. We're just going to do a quick episode. I need to educate some people of the world. So that's what we're doing today. (laughs) Let's get into it. Welcome to Sweet Release. First thing I want to talk about is this question I got. So someone asked me if I've ever had someone use a cock ring instead of a condom and if it felt any different. So I I don't know if there's a miscommunication or what, but I just want to let you know that condoms have a purpose and that is to protect against STIs and STDs in pregnancy. But Cock rings have a completely opposite purpose. (laughs) That is not anything that is covering your shaft. That is a ring that I remember my first love of my life had this vibrating cock ring that he put at the base of his shaft, and that felt amazing. There's also some some people use them um, to keep to help keep their erection because it kind of holds this tightness around the base of their shaft, and it can kind of help you stay hard. So they say. Um, I personally don't love cock rings. I feel like it's kind of like the rubbery, like kind of old school style ones. I find them to just be painful, especially if you're penetrating deeply and with force. Um, so I am not like a huge fan of them. Um, but I just want to educate you and let you know that you should never be replacing a condom with a cock ring. Like those are just completely two different things, completely two different things. and. I also have another comment that I got from my doctor the other day, and I just feel like this is so insane that I need to con- that I need to also debunk this myth. So first, we have <laughs> this idea that cock rings um, are replacing condoms. No, that is so not true. Please don't do that. Um, use a condom. Use a cock ring for pleasure or for maybe helping you enhance your erection or. Yeah, get the fun vibrating ones. Like those ones are fun. Um, And then, you know, I went to the doctor the other day and I I went to this new doctor because I got this new health insurance. And so I needed to find someone in network and they actually just like assigned me to this doctor down the street. And I was like, great, it's local. And it had terrible reviews. My sister and I were laughing at the awful reviews the night before I was like, damn, like these are all one star reviews and they're all like super shitty reviews. Like this place has to be like, maybe they've gotten better. So I get in there and, you know, we're doing the normal conversations about sex and he's asking me about, you know, if I have multiple partners and all of these things. And I, he was like, do you use condoms? And I was like, yeah, you know, I don't use condoms with my, with my partner, but when we have sex with other people, we do. And he was like, well, make sure that you wear two. And I was like, hmm. And I kind of like paused and he like turned around, like, you know, make notes or whatever. I don't know what he was doing to the computer. And I was like, wait, whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> Did you mean to, oh, you must mean like a female condom and a male condom, right? And he was like, no, 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 no. I mean two. And I was like, what? I have never heard that before. And he was like, yeah, you know, STIs are crazy and condoms often break. And it's really important to wear a second one just in case that first one breaks. And honestly, I like could not not laugh. Like I definitely was giggling at this man. I was like, holy shit, this is insane. So I have to let you know that this is a myth that I must debunk. Two is not better than one. (laughs) This is actually, it has a term, double bagging. And yes, sometimes it's good to double bag your groceries, but no, it is not good to double bag your cock. Please don't do it. So I just found this to be hilarious. And I was also like really upset that this professional has been telling people to double bag their shit. Like that is just not. A good thing to do. It actually creates more friction when you have two and can actually break even like more. And it produces more heat when you have two on top of each other. 
which can lead to breakage, um, discomfort. I mean, condoms are have been really grown into this space where they're they actually can create more pleasure for you. And so the fact that he's telling you to wear two is also going to diminish the amount of pleasure that you're receiving. Um, so many brands now have ribbed condoms. They have heat ones that produce like a cooling mechanism or a heat mechanism. There's different textures. There's different flavors. So if you're um, really nervous about even giving oral sex to some new partners, there's flavored condoms that can be really enjoyable. And so there's all this new technology with condoms. And then, you know, so many people have a have a sensitivity or an allergy to latex. And so now there's all these non-latex brands and these other kinds that are made with different products that are more sensitive for, that are better for people that have sensitivities and allergies. So again, it's like so <laughs> silly that my professional doctor told me this. And I just feel like I have to tell you, you should never double bag your shit. Please don't do it. So now that we, now that we know that, please, <laughs> please don't put on two. Um, again, it is just not good. And I think, you know, condoms are, are really great to use. I have a chest full of condoms next to my bed. Um, I think I've already talked about my favorite condoms being skin, S-K-Y-N. I just feel like they're nice and thin and um, I really like the non-latex brands. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just a fan of them. But there's also different sizes. So I do think that, you know, another myth that I need to debunk <laughs> next to this double bagging myth, I can't even believe it, is, um, you know, one size fits all. That's so not true. There's so many different sizes and there's so many different kinds. And again, like I said before, there's different styles. And so it's really good to try it out. Like, unfortunately, they're expensive. Yes. But it's important to, you know, try, try a few. Now they have like the single or reuse ones like they have smaller packages so you don't have to like commit to 20 or whatever it is so just try see what works best for you like I remember when I was in my slutty days and I was having a lot of sex and and a lot of um, different partners all the time I felt like every single different partner I had had a different condom and I always had condoms in my wallet and I would you know offer those if you know they didn't have a condom I'd be like oh this is what I have and some people are like oh I don't like that one I'm like, well, you have a latex brand and this is non-latex and I don't like the way latex makes me feel and makes me smell. So you're going to wear this one. <laughs> so, you know, it's good to learn as a female too, or a vulva owner too, like what feels good against your body, but also as a male, like obviously it's being, it's um, covering your, your penis. And so you need to make sure that it feels good and that it fits um, because then that's going to help with, you know, reducing the chances that it'll, it'll break and all of that. And, you know, the other myth I have to debunk, which I don't, I'm hoping not a lot of people still believe is that condoms are hundred percent effective. That is just not true. Nothing can be foolproof. So I just think that it's important to know, like, yes, this is a way to pre like prevent pregnancy, prevent STIs. Um, but it's not a hundred percent effective. So you should definitely just be aware of that. <laughs> And obviously there are chances that it could break and things like that. So it's just good always to have those conversations ahead of time. But I firmly believe that we should all have condoms in our purse, in our wallet, next to our beds. We should just have them around for use because you never know when you might need one. So um, yeah, thank you to the person who asked me this question. Um, I appreciate you inspiring this condom episode. Again, those rings, those cock rings are just not something that you want to replace a condom with. That is more for pleasure and for fun and for exploring. And again, maybe it'll help you keep that erection. Um, but condoms are, yeah, condoms are a completely different story. So check out some new brands, try some new flavors. You know, there's so many different cool stuff out there nowadays. And it's really cool that these brands are continuing to evolve and make better products for us. Because as you know, Pleasure is so important and I just want us all to be happy and enjoy our bodies and enjoy our partners and enjoy that connection between us so much more and just with full love and mindfulness and all of that. 
So uh, thanks again for coming back week after week. I'm sorry, this is just a little short one this week, um, but I'll be back next week with a guest and she is fucking fantastic. I know you guys are going to love her. Lots of wisdom and lots of knowledge, um, but I love you guys. Be sweet. Be sweet to those condoms that break. It's not their fault. <laughs> and be sweet to yourself. Talk soon, y'all. Bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.